Kelly Schmidt, and you're watching 24-7 International News. Breaking news. There is a psycho woman going around the world giving people viruses. She calls herself the virus villain. She squirts people with the virus liquid and then runs away. Authorities are on the lookout, but haven't been able to catch her yet. Caught on tape. Zillionaire Joey Tyler leaving the club in New York City, getting squirted by the villain. Take a look. Yo, I told you to get me a limousine. Next, the villain was caught on tape in Springville, Utah. Watch out, you make me next. Okay, we've got some crazy stuff going on here. We have three questions to answer. What are viruses? How do they infect people? And how are they treated? So we're bringing in Dr. Carr from Harvard Medical School. Come on in, Dr. Carr. Hello. Hello, welcome Dr. Carr, we're glad to have you. I'm glad to be here. Awesome. All right, so let's discuss this crazy virus villain. First of all, what does a virus look like? Well, a virus is non-living, so it doesn't contain living characteristics, like it can't reproduce by itself. So it has to take the help from a host cell to do the work for it. Also, it has genetic material in the form of DNA and RNA. Also, I believe from my biology classes I remember, it contains an outer covering and a protein shell. Yes. Oh, here, take a look. Well, so when the virus in our villain squirt gun was attached to the cell of the victim, it ejected its genetic material into the host cell, and then it either goes through the lytic cycle or the lysogenic cycle. Yes, the lytic cycle is when the virus takes over the genetic material of the host cell and mass produces. Right, and the lysogenic cycle is when the genetic material of the virus fuses with that of the host cell to create recombinant DNA and then spreads through DNA replication. Awesome. Up next, zillionaire Joey Tyler is squirted again by the villain but doesn't get sick. Why is this? Oh, you again! Do you lie? Let's discuss why zillionaire Joey Tyler still doesn't get sick. Well, this happened because of his real good immune system. So immunity is related to the immune system and how it can act immediately and identify a virus, as it has already created the memory cells due to the vaccine. Immunity is a biological term that describes a state of having sufficient biological defenses to avoid infection, disease, or other unwanted biological invasion like viruses. And as it knows how the virus is destroyed already, it can destroy the virus more quickly and efficiently. But there is a hero. She calls herself the vaccine hero. She gives people vaccines so they don't get sick. Take a look. Mm -hmm. Wow, so tell us, how do vaccines work? Vaccines contain weak or dead organisms that don't make us sick. Then the immune system is able to destroy the virus and create these memory cells. These memory cells can later recognize the same virus and work to destroy it more quickly and efficiently. So the vaccine hero shoots a very tiny vaccine needle into people's skin. It has anesthetic on it so they won't feel a lot of pain. Then the vaccine enters their body and they're able to fight the virus. Ew, what was that? Wow. 
one life saved, my job here is done. Just when we thought we had the solution to the virus problem, our villain changed her weapon to bacteria. Take a look. The villain was caught on tape in Switzerland. Then the villain was caught on Walmart security cameras in Texas. Time to answer our three questions. What is bacteria? How does it infect people? And how was it treated? Bacteria are one-celled microorganisms that can also cause infection. Viruses are smaller than bacteria. Also, bacteria doesn't need a host cell to multiply. They reproduce through binary fission. In addition to that, bacteria is living and is treated differently than viruses. Exactly. And I would like to say a few words about bacteria too. So as Mandeep was saying, bacteria is treated differently than viruses. That's true. It is treated by antibiotics. Antibiotics are small molecules or compounds. Antibiotics can be derived from natural, semi-synthetic, and synthetic sources. Yes. But if we're talking about treating bacteria, let's also talk about how they infect. They infect the body by overgrowth or spreading through the body through our bloodstream or an open cut. Bacteria also enters in our body through our mom during pregnancy. And when it spreads to areas of the body where it is not needed is when it starts infecting the body in a negative way. I'm Natalie Schmidt and you're watching 24-7 International News. I don't think so, Bacteria. Our hero upgraded to an antibiotic. Bacteria will be gone in no time. Let's have a look at what our superhero is doing against the evil Bacteria. be feeling much better later. After two weeks of the antibiotic, the patient in England is now happy and healthy. Wait, we have an exclusive face-off going on live. Over to you, Clarissa. Thanks, Natalie. Okay, we have an exclusive face-off going on between the villain and the hero. I'm over at the elementary school. Check it out. You've been curing people with vaccines and antibiotics. You've been poisoning people with viruses and bacteria. That's what I do. Well, I'm going to put a stop to that. won the day. Back to you, Natalie. Thanks, Clarissa. Our hero saved the day. Thank you, Mendeep and viewers, for being with us today. Of course, anytime. So just remember, even though there are a number of negative things to hurt us in the world, there will always be someone to act as a protective shield. Thank you, and this is Natalie Schmidt signing off 24-7 International News.
five different nachos. One, two, three.